Hi, my name is Steve Dalton from the Gold Coast Tech Space. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about using Lego Mindstorms and Arduino together. So many of you might be familiar with Lego Mindstorms. This is the old NXT, uh, which uh, a lot of schools have. And they do a lot of robotics with these. This is one of the projects, first projects we did, which was a Rubik's Cube solver. Now Lego Mindstorms consists of some motors and sensors and then a, basically the main process of brick. And this is proprietary to Lego. Has a, it's a fairly low spec little embedded processor. Um, has a load of batteries on the back here. It's quite um, power hungry. And the software that you actually program it with is a graphical programming environment, uh, which is great to get started, but can be quite limiting. So what I have here is a alternative way to actually use Lego. And this is using the Bricktronic Shield from Wayne and Lane. The guys in the US have done an awesome job bringing Lego and Arduino together. And they have a book called Make, Arduino and NXT a Lego, uh, which I'd highly recommend have a little look. It's a bit out of date, but it's actually got some great projects in. So this is their shield that I bought from them. I think it cost about $40. It sits on top of a Arduino Uno board. So you can just see under there I have the Freetronics 11 board from John Oxer down in Melbourne. And we put the Bricktronics board on the top. This is a shield uh, that I actually bought and put together myself. It has four sensor inputs and two motor outputs. And I've just built a little five minute uh, bot here that you can put together and connect that to the Arduino. The power source is anything, uh, if you want to run motors, you need something a bit more than the five volt that comes out of the USB of your computer. So I've just got a little LiPo um, 2C here, which is 7.54 volts. And then basically I've written a little Arduino program. It's only about six lines of code to actually build a basic robot. And that code is C++, basically. Um, so it's actually real code, not like the Lego graphical stuff. So kids can actually learn about real code, but still play with the Mindstorm stuff, which may just be actually sitting in their cupboards doing nothing, because I know for a fact some schools really struggle not to know what to do with Lego beyond the basics, and then they end up sitting in the cupboards, come out maybe few weeks of the year. So this is a little project, it uses an ultrasonic sensor and two motors. And it's the classic uh, edge detector robot that basically just looks for walls and turns. And this, we're just calling this one Lefty because it only turns left. Um, so I'll just do a quick demo. I'm just plugging my little battery on the top. I'll just tuck that in there for now. The Arduino is powered. Put it on the floor. We should see it move. And go forward until it hits finds an object and it should turn left. That's it. So there's a heap of projects you can do with this. A heck of a lot cheaper than buying go out and buying EV3 kits, which uh, can be like a thousand dollars plus to buy the new Lego EV3. So you can use your NXTs that you already have, leverage Arduino, get the kids doing real code and learn a lot more than beyond the basics. So I highly recommend have a go. This is from Bricktronics. This is called Bricktronics from Wayne and Lane. So look at wayneandlane.com. You should find it on the web. I'm looking forward to doing a lot more with this board. Thanks.